don't you want to see what this quilt's going to look like? Come on, let's do the next piece. Hello and welcome back to Studio 77. On this video, I'm going to show you the mystery quilt. It's a mystery. We won't know until the end what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to be going through the small version of the mystery sparkle and shine quilt. I will put all the links in the description below and I know that it also comes in a larger quilt as well. And don't forget to stay watching to the end because I'm gonna show you exactly how we've got on so far, all the pieces together, and we can see what this quilt is gonna look like. Well, maybe, because it's a mystery, who knows? <laughs> so let's go. Okay, so opening our box, we've got four small A's, four small B triangles. We've got six large A's and we've got six large B triangles. We've got two of our D and we've got six of our E. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach two of the triangles together. So we're going to take our larger B and our larger E and we are going to stitch them along one of the shorter edges. So we're going to stitch them along that edge. So I'm just going to pop a pin in there just to make sure we know the right seam to do and we need to do that twice and I'm going to stitch these with a quarter inch seam on the sewing machine just be careful because these are on the bias these are diagonally cut we want to make sure that we're not stretching these seams so if you've got a walking foot then that would definitely be a good idea I'm just going to use my regular foot for this but I'm going to keep an eye that I don't stretch them Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to press them towards B, which for me is this splatter one. Then we're going to do the same, but we're going to add a triangle, our E triangle, onto the left in exactly the same way. And of course, we're going to do that twice so that they're on both pieces with a quarter inch seam. And we're going to press those towards B again. Then we're going to add two more triangles for B on either side of our E. Okay, so we've stitched those and we just need to press them towards the E triangle. While I'm pressing these, if at any point you feel value from this video, please do hit that like button. Now we need to continue our long piece and we need to add two of the larger blue, the A triangles, to the end. So one on the right and one on the left. And of course, we're going to do that twice and then we're going to stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. You may notice that I'm chain stitching these pieces together. That just makes it a bit quicker and it stops the thread getting in a nest underneath. So now they're stitched, we're gonna press those seam allowances towards our B triangles. So then to finish off these section three A's, we just need to complete the rectangle and we're going to add a little triangle of our B fabric. So we're gonna do one on each end and of course we're going to repeat that. And we're going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance again. So then we're going to press these towards the A triangle. And that completes our sections 3A. So moving on to section 3B. So we need to get a small triangle of A and we need to join it to the right of a large triangle of D. Then we're going to press it towards the smaller triangle and add another one to the other side. So then we're going to press again towards our smaller triangle and we've got to make another one of these configurations. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
While I'm doing that, go ahead and comment in the box below and let me know if you're doing this quilt. If you are, let me know the colourway you're doing. I am hashtag Team Sphere. Are you doing the same quilt as me? Let me know. And also, are you doing the large or the small one? Now we've done that, we're going to move on to the next bit. So we need to get our E triangle and our A triangle, the larger triangles of course. And we're going to join them along that short side. And we need to do that twice. Then we're going to press towards the E triangle. So then we need to join the two pieces together that we've just made to make a square. When it comes to the points, the corners, you want to make sure, of course, we've pressed them in the right way. So we've got one seam going to the right and then one seam on the top going to the left. Of course, yours might be flipped. And I'm just gonna pop a pin very close to that seam just to try and make sure that as close as possible. If you don't get it spot on, no one's gonna worry. So don't worry too much about it. If you want to unpick it, that's also totally fine. Again, like the whole project, we're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Then we need to press it to one side. So then we're going to join our sections that we made before onto the square. The main thing you need to remember is that you've got your A's at the top and the bottom rather than the other way around. So we've got our section three, which of course we've seen, and I just wanted to see what it looked like all together, because I think it's fun to see how it's coming along as a quilt. So we can kind of guess what it's gonna look like. I think it's really nice, these yellow pieces coming into it now. Thanks so much for watching. Coming up on the screen right now, there are two more great tutorials that I think you're gonna love. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified. I bring out new videos every week and you won't want to miss the next one. I'll see you on the next video. Shh, don't tell anyone because it's a mystery quilt.